Good morning. Winter walk with Jake vlog number two. I was about to complain about the lack of sunshine again today, but as I step into the woods, look at this. It's just so pretty. And I guess I'll not complain today about the lack of sunshine and just enjoy this beautiful snow covered gorgeous woods that I get to walk in. I'll carry on a little bit. So poor Jake didn't get a walk yesterday. So I'm going to try to give him a little bit longer. Out and about today um, I was babysitting the kids and couldn't get out so he just had a couple of quick outings. So he's already treed one or two squirrels and he's barking at them. He's just having a grand time. So that's entertainment when you're a dog. Oh, let's see. Well, those mushrooms are still hanging in there. Hmm. I felt so bad leaving for my walk this morning. My little grandson cries when I leave the house and he wants to come with me. I'm really looking forward to the time when uh, he's old enough and stable enough to come and walk through the woods with me. I suppose I'm looking at next year, but it'll be fun to go through the woods and maybe get a book to identify trees and plants and uh, him and I can do that. I did that with my son and his friends. It was always a great way to spend some time with them and not spend any money. <laughs> they didn't mind. They just care that you're spending time with them, talking to them and doing stuff. So that's, uh, that's all that matters really. It's a real scramble through here sometimes because of the tornado damage. You got a lot of leaning down and clambering under and a lot of picking your feet up to step overs. But that's good exercise for a senior like myself, so I don't mind. I just take my time. I don't want to have a fall, especially out here in the woods. I don't think Jake has much of a lassie or rin tin tin in him. He'd probably just go home and forget about me. So it'd take a while for somebody to find me if I was laying here with a broken leg. So I won't do that. <sighs> At least it's not cold today. The weather service said it was uh, minus two was the coldest and there isn't any real breeze. Even up high the trees don't look like they're swaying in the breeze so that's always the saving grace if you ask me is when there isn't a wind. I don't mind bundling up for winter but sometimes it doesn't matter how much you bundle you just don't get a break from the the wind. It just manages to get up your sleeves and up by your ears under your toque. I don't know what Jake is watching, but I have seen signs of deer in here. There's a spot, uh, it's kind of over in there. I was rambling in there the other day that I saw where three or four of them had been laying down and the snow was melted. So uh, now that there's a bit of snow on the ground, I'll be able to see more tracks and see just what all lives in here. I think um, raccoons and uh, oh, porcupines, I've seen scat and tracks that I'm not sure which is which. So I wonder what he's He's seeing up the tree. Could be just a little squirrel or chipmunk or something. But isn't he a handsome dog? Hey, Jake, you're so handsome. Shall we continue on, Jake? Or are you going to stay here on guard and let me walk on by myself? Are you coming with me? Okay. So, I actually sent a couple of Christmas cards yesterday. I was contacted by a friend in Calgary 
who's decided to start the Christmas card, the real Christmas card exchange again. And I thought that's a fantastic idea. Oh, he's off. He sees something, another squirrel. Good thing they can get up the trees. <laughs> I don't feel bad about him chasing them because they can get away from him. I would call him back if he was chasing a deer or something like that. I wouldn't allow that. But uh, anyways, Christmas cards. Yeah, so I sent off two to a couple of girlfriends yesterday. Just, uh, I think it'd be a, a wonderful tradition to, to restart. Now there's something over here. And I don't know if I have any woodsy friends. But I've seen a few trees like this. Don't mind me while I get there. That's one underneath here. The snow here is not pretty. See this tree? And the way the bark is kind of scraped away. Let's see if I can get a little closer. It's really tangly here. Well, there's tracks here, but I, I couldn't tell you what they're from. The snow has filled them in. But see how the bark it definitely looks like something climbs this tree. And there's a few in the, the woods like this. It goes way up, probably almost 30 feet up. I don't know if you can see it up that way. And you'll see at the base of the tree the um, little pieces that are being pulled off by whatever is climbing the tree. Now I don't think it's a bear because if you can see the scratch marks they're they're not big and I think bear claw marks would be quite a gouge in there so my assumption is porcupines because I have seen porcupines way 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 up in trees so uh, I find it interesting and a neighbor did say that she had seen a small bear on the edge of this wood. So, uh, but I haven't seen anything tracks or scat wise to make me think that I have any company to worry about while I'm walking in here. And I'm sure whatever is in here goes, oh man, there's that woman with that damn dog. Let's get out of here. So I don't think I'll encounter, have an encounter with anybody more scary than maybe a, a human. But I haven't done that yet either. I seem to have this woods pretty much to myself, which is nice because <laughs> the talk in the village will be about this woman who walks through the woods talking to herself. And that's a great way to introduce myself to my new neighbors. Anyway, this is about the end of my walk. I could go right through the trail, but um, the second half of the trail is very wet and because it's not frozen it's uh it's you don't need hip waders but at least a pair of rubber boots and i'm not wearing any today so i'm going to turn back and say goodbye to you for now and we'll see you on the next walk take care bye